YouTube is the future of art. I know, I know, it's a tough statement, but bear with me. Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Berina and if you are new here, welcome to today's video. If you are an artist, art lover or just somebody like me who does one job for a living but loves to paint and made my painting into a small hobby, then this video might be for you. In these days, everybody keeps saying how YouTube is not as popular as it used to be. The spin of attention with coming short-form videos on Instagram or TikTok has decreased significantly. Does it even pay off to be on YouTube? Does it pay off to start a new channel? How to make the threshold of 4000 watch time hours without burning out? Can you even succeed as a small channel on YouTube in 2023? My answer is yes and in this video I'm gonna give you reasons why I think so. Firstly, if a video is satisfying people who are watching it, then YouTube is gonna recognize it and push your content to the targeted audience. The current data says YouTube has 2.6 billion active users every month on their platform. And how can anybody even assume that YouTube is dead? Even today, YouTube has done so many updates with its short form content, community posts, and there is no reason why anybody would think or should think that YouTube is dead or that platform is not gonna be here for a very long time. From the youngest generations to the oldest one, everybody, every day, every hour, continues to search content on YouTube, whether it's how-to videos, educational forms, money-making videos, etc. YouTube is here for the long run and in my opinion, the site itself has become evergreen. Let's take for example how Facebook used to be popular, but nowadays not so much. And I think the similar faith will be with uh, Instagram or TikTok, but YouTube here is for the long run. Second reason, or maybe more of a question, is how to make the threshold of 4000 watch time hours without burning out. I think that the true happiness comes when you discover who you really are. If you decide to make a YouTube channel, then it should be about something that you're already passionate about, that you already love to do, to create, to entertain maybe people, etc. And this way, it's not gonna be hard for you to film, to have an idea for a video, to edit videos, because you are doing something that you already enjoy or love to do. Secondly, in my opinion, you should treat your channel like you would any other business, even before you get into YouTube partnership program. If you act like you're already getting paid on the platform, then it's gonna be easier for you to stay consistent, to show up on YouTube, to create, to edit, to enjoy filmmaking. You can't expect overnight success like in any other work environment. It takes time, patience, and with every next thing that you do, you should try, try and strive to be more creative, have a little more fun with every video, and generally make your content better and success must come. When making art videos, try to answer a specific question like how to paint this or that, what materials can I use, uh, how to paint white roses in all colors, etc. But this way it will be easier for YouTube to recognize your content, what kind of content do you make, to push it towards the people who will watch your content and to the targeted audience and success must come. Uh, it will be easier for YouTube to get you to your targeted audience and, and this way you will get a loyal base of subscribers who will watch your content and who will watch you create art and then you film it and then you create videos about how you create art and then people are watching it and like a movie inception, right? That being said, try to enjoy filmmaking. Whatever hobby do you have, like specifically my channel is all about paintings and I really don't have a problem with uh, video ideas because that is something that I already do, already enjoy, already create and what I have to do is film it edit, try to have fun while editing and I believe success will come. Maybe in the beginning you should try to make your channel a sort of niche down for a specific audience or choose a specific topic for, for your overall channel uh, and that is one more reason how you can help YouTube to push your content to the targeted audience and as time goes by and you get a loyal base of subscribers, then you can maybe focus on more topics than one. For example, 
Generally, niche about my channel is about painting, but what I am planning to do with it is to have not just how to paint this or that videos. I plan to do how to mix colors. I already have done art vlogs. Maybe have some travel vlogs because I love to travel, etc. That being said, when you enjoy all those things, YouTube will recognize it and push your content. 4,000 watch time hours is not easy by all means, but if you have a quality content, uh, that quality content is always on demand. And that is one more reason why I think that YouTube is the future of our channels. Videos on YouTube have long and long years of expand. Even today we are watching videos that are, that are like 10 years old. In my opinion, it's really become the modern version of a library. And I think nobody can argue with that. With every new video that you make, it's a fresh opportunity for you to succeed, for you to show your art to the world, your painting skills and overall improvement that must come when you're being consistent. You really make true storytelling by painting, by creating videos, maybe explain why that painting, what made you inspired to do that, where do you even get your inspiration to paint, to create art. You are on the platform long enough. Uh, you can really see your skills evolving through time, a journey that brought you where you are today. Also, how easy is it to be an uh, artist in these days? We can really use and harvest all social media platforms to put our art into the world for people to see it, to buy it, to enjoy it and to make a living for yourself. And that's really it. Kind of my point of this whole video is to, to do something that you are passionate about, film it, edit videos, try to have fun. You know, success cannot come overnight, but try to enjoy all those processes and uh, use this time to improve your skills, to improve every next video that you do. And I really believe that YouTube as an evergreen platform will recognize and it. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing to my channel and watch some of my other videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye!